Just look at this specimen carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. Weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He is transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish Warriors' battleground, and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. The Almighty is here. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. You know, I think it's safe to say the Almighty Bobby Lashley is treading in demigod territory at this particular juncture. Lashley is standing in rarefied air. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Triple Threat always a challenging matchup for any superstar. Ready for battle as it'll be Drew McIntyre, Ilya Dragunov, and Bobby Lashley. Every superstar for themselves in this matchup. Still, it's possible to see some temporary alliances, no matter how strange. It's about getting the odds in your favor. Chances are better against one opponent instead of two. Taking their time. 
Oh, vertical suplex. Look at the power here. Absolutely incredible. Walking around the ring. Oh, I didn't know you count that high, Saxton. Shut up, Corey. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. He's back into the ring. I oh, able to counter. Wrecking the shoulder. Brought down with a DDT. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out. Suplex. I can't believe it. Somehow able to find the leverage and get it done. Planet face first. Some superstars are understandably hesitant to exploit the no disqualification stipulation. Then they need to go wrestle a different match. This is the kind of match where you need to cross the line before the opposition does. If a superstar wants the W, they need to overcome that hesitation. Able to elude it. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Setting up for something here. Ooh, right to the throat. Now that could be it. That could have been it right there. And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together. Wait, 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 wait! What's he open to find down there? I didn't think this match was close to over. Gets inside the ring. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Unmitigated demonstration of power. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. And look at front. A back suplex. Oh, check out. Uh-oh. He can do it here. And he stops the count. Vicious right forearm. Delivering a falcon arrow. And he's able to fight Dragonov off. Toss flips the script. Down with a power bomb. That was a power bomb with one message in mind: absolute destruction. And he's out of there in a nick of time. He'll head to the ring. Placed into the corner. Looks like Bobby is locked in on his opponent now. The knee. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Now that'll do some serious damage. A uh, deadlift. Look at this power. Power slam. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for team, Corey. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. Lastly, a step ahead. Comes back into the ring. Oh, kick to the face. Now I see a cut on McIntyre after that exchange. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Oh. oh, short arm chop. Way to hang on. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh, he retaliates. And he sends him into the corner. Oh. And it looks like they might have thrown Lashley off his game. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on. He's going for the pin. This could be it. No, stops the count at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. McIntyre. Poised to strike. Lashley's in peril.
Lined him up. Oh, and four. Shows out quick. For the victory here. Makes the cover. He stays alive. He stays alive. The amount of damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in this thing. And you know McIntyre loves the challenge, but he better not let his opponent. Is there any head left in the wrestle? Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. Whoa. What could it possibly take to keep the Almighty down? McIntyre won't lose focus, though. He's got to remain his... And there's the cover. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Short clothesline hits its mark. We're seeing pure aggression from McIntyre. This is what it feels like to run into a competitor like McIntyre. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He's got a kendo stick, a weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Uh-oh. Suicide dive to the outside. Oh, does it better. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Looking for something, anything under the ring. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Held in a perilous position. Snake eyes. And lastly gets thwarted away. We'll take things into the ring. Oh. We got a cover. Shoulder shoots up before two. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. He saw it coming. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Oh, God. McIntyre's in dire straits. Look in for the victory! There's two! Oh, shoulder up before three. Absolute defiance from the Highlander. McIntyre finding a way out of the pinfall. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian will. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, put down face first. A oh, bear hop furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear. Can he do it? Yes! Ah, what a neck breaker. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Close line. And lastly, saw what was coming. Punishing power slam. for that one. Spear! Dragunov is out. That's it. Shoulders down. One, two, Got it. Survived the triple threat match. Here is your winner. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Standing tall above the two other hungry competitors who were in this match. I know there is only one true winner of a match like this, guys, but the other two superstars should keep their heads up high after the performances they pulled off here. Unfortunately, there are no consolation prizes in triple threat matches, Saxton, but you have a point. All three of these competitors really gave it their all here.
We are about to hear the sinister siren song of Scarlet. It is a tune that has struck fear in the entire WWE Universe. One of the most dominant competitors in NXT history. TikTok Doomsday has arrived. The time has come to fall and pray. Here comes Prime Alexander. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander! Cedric Alexander has found success, whether flying solo or teaming up. Singles and tag titles on his resume already. Cedric has scratched and clawed for every opportunity in his career. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? The age of Alexander is upon us, as Cedric Alexander is in action here tonight. With his athletic ability, Cedric can make jaws drop in the audience, but he can also break jaws in the ring. Yeah, Cedric's not afraid to get physical, and when you hit as hard as he does, it's easy to understand why. And since he's only gotten more aggressive over the years, he's only become more dangerous. You definitely want to protect yourself when you're facing off against Cedric Alexander. But tonight, he's taken on an incredibly driven Karrion Cross, the superstar who seems to be fueled by an endless supply of extreme rage and an insatiable appetite for destruction. This man is not your average competitor. Well spoken, Saxton. Cross is an absolute terror in the ring who doesn't put any limits on his attacks or his ambitions. He'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. And tonight, he wants to destroy. Often, whenever we talk about Cedric Alexander, we focus on how well-rounded he is as a superstar. As his opponent, it has to be hard to find a hole in his game plan. Right, Corey? It might be hard, Corey, but it's not impossible. You need to stifle his speed and agility, and the easiest way to do that is to lift off this could do it. He narrowly avoids the count. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Turn stronger to fight again.
Time stopped. Carrying Cross overestimated his chances and goes down in painful defeat. The LWO is in the building. It's time for everyone to stand up and take notice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro, the L-W-O. Paying homage to the original founding fathers of the L-W-O, this is a team that represents their Latino culture openly and proudly. They become a family of sorts, Michael. They win together, they lose together, but they always fight together. And their opponents, accompanied by Jinder Mahal, at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahal and Sangha Indus Share. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Here's the bell, and we're about to see the sheer brutality of Indus Sheer. These guys feel they haven't been given the opportunities they deserve. They're here to take what's theirs, and they're doing that with unadulterated aggression. The question is, will their dominance be seen and heard tonight? Well, the LWO is in the building, and we all know this team is strong. Strong separately, but even stronger together. They represent a culture, represent each other, and they represent the WWE Universe. And I think they're going to make everyone proud tonight. 
Just like that, Sangha evades. He just barely dodges. An agile escape. There he goes, right into the corner. Driving down with the axe handle. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Here he comes off the tag. And Del Toro may have felt that coming. And Mahan was ready for that. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Reciprocating the initial reversal. count. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Lands an elbow. On the button with a low drop kick. <laughs> Sent into the corner. Then another. Every strike more devastating than the last. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. One step ahead of Veer there. I oh, had that well scouted. Oh, my gosh. Knee strike connects. In off the tag. Rolling thunder into the face breaker. Oh, wrist lock up to the top rope. Strong kick out there. This isn't even close to over. He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. Vicious right forearm. Power slam incoming. No. Counter into an inverted DDT. He's in off the tag. Got the tag. Got the tag. A running hurry counter. Beautiful. Connects on the kick. And whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out for Veer there. Oh, man. Kick to the face. He's going for the pad. This could be it. One, two, and he fights it off. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. He's been placed in the corner now. Toro hooks the leg. Caught in a bad position here. Piercing the throat. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Uh oh. Oh, and he answers back on Cruz. Uh oh. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Bang! Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Alley-oop! This could do it! Oh, barely kicks out. How in the world did he kick out? Oh, 
Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Comes in off the tag. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Great counter. Out of the way in time. Big four. Oh, body checking them into a whole other area. Pointing the leg. Ooh. He may be in a bad way here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, caught that foot by surprise. This here is vintage. Snake eyes. Taking hold of Del Toro here. Big slam. with the back elbow. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Sangha is looking to close this one out. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Nasty kick to the face. He may get the three count right here. I think so. <laughs> he did it. He did it. Here are your winners. Beer Mahal and Sangha Indes. A tough loss for the LWO here tonight. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. Now the matchup underway. Oh, the referee, the officials down. And these two don't care at all. What, what about the official? Someone check on him, please. Someone's going to get seriously hurt if this continues like this. That's so exciting, isn't it, Cole? Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. And A's turning it around. What a bullfight! <laughs> Staved off that attack. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Big forearm. Cross 
hits the top rope all the way to the floor. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Oh, God, knee meets face. What is going to be the key for Jey Uso tonight if he wants to come away with the win? Jey needs to push out all distractions and focus on the task at hand. I know he can be tempted by the prospect of torturing his opponent, but he can't afford to waste time. He needs to keep victory front and center in his mind and save his personal agenda for later. Oof, kick finds it right to the leg. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. And Carmelo's attitude got put in check there. And more action like that might allow Jay to get the job done. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Ooh. Sure, he's popping himself Ooh. up, but he's also giving his opponent Ooh. a chance. Okay, he is not good. Shoulders down. This could be it. the fight, but for how much longer? Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Carmelo dodges that attack. And that failed to hit the mark. Boom, right across the small of the back. Elbow drop. What is going to happen here? Look at this handstand. Measuring. Oh, face stop. And made of it, Jey Uso isn't looking so big after that hit there. You can tell Carmelo was zeroed in on his opponent. Oh, right, right, so it's cinched. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Makes him pay with a counter. And he has an answer for Jay. Springboard clothesline. Yeah. A quick reversal by Jay. Easy. Ooh, elbow strike. Elbow drop. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Textbook scoop slam. Paying it right back. Hayes in full control. Suplex into a cover. Can Hayes put things away here? I think the fuse has been lit here, guys. Yeah, Zach, and now we'll see if this is dynamite or a dud. An emphatic kick out from Jey Uso. How in the world did he get the shoulder up? And the hip, uh-oh. Oh. Somersault plancha to the floor. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. DDT! Spiked him. Decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk was worth it. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Gets 
hits him with the counter. Spear! That might have knocked Hayes out for good. For the win! Two! What? Only two? His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. Main event, Jey Uso with a close call right there. He definitely thought he had that one in the bag. with an elbow. Oh, man. Turned it into a statement DDT. Looking for a... Uh-oh. Oh, converts that attack into a vicious bulldog. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? It might just take that extra push, that extra inch further to create the difference. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh! If this works, it could change the course of the match. From the top, he paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Response to Jay's offense. Tilt the world face buster. The five tool player with a potential home run swing. Mello's not missing at all. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Suplex. Everyone is out of their seats right now. All eyes are glued on the action in front of them. Hayes now on the offensive. Carmelo Hayes going to turn a suplex into a cover. Hayes landed that perfectly. Cover! Finally, it's over. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes! Well, you can't help but think it was the cheap shot that secured the victory here tonight. Look, sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they did winning, more like surviving. And considering what they did to survive, I don't see it as very fulfilling. When surviving means you get your arm raised at the end, that means you won. is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chase and Kaden Carter. They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. 
And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Oh, yippee, it's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial. And their opponents, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE universe miserable. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. And they're taking on the formidable duo of Chelsea Green and Piper Niven, two of the most dominant women in WWE on their own, but together, they're unstoppable. Uh, I think you might be over-exaggerating just a bit, Corey, but they have proven to be a powerful team. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. Places her right in the corner. Forearm right to the jaw. Has an answer for Niven. Just hot shot it to the outside. Looking for a submission here. And the ropes will break this one up. Well, it looks like she got a new lease on life here, Michael. But can she capitalize? Ooh, whoa. She's trying, trying to create space. Nice counter from Chance. She's fighting back. Tossed into the corner. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something to the cover. But the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. She gets a quick kick out there. She's not going quietly into the good night here, making things very interesting. She scurries out of there. Bang. Knee right on target. And she's in off the tag. Chelsea on the receiving end. Great. Wait, is she? Yep, looking for the submission. Oh, Black Whip. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Nice leg sweep takedown. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. And she's stunned in the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Right 
across the chest. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Reversal from Katana. Lives to fight another day. Boom! Solely focused on in the corner. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. A nice takedown with the leg sweep. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Jarring impact. There's a tag. Into the corner. This can't be good. Face buster. She's going up. Top rope here. From the top. And she doesn't connect. And a kick. Drop toe hold. Face first. Oh, straight forearm. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. And Caden Carter is going full tilt here. Niven's gotta find a way to put her best foot forward here. Great athleticism. <laughs> She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. Kick out. She still has life. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. longer. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. And this is going to be it! A kick out at two. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Put it in the corner now. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. What a beautiful 
powerful moonsault. Oh, God, that hurt. She gets the tag. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled that slam. Oh, just brutalizing her opponent here. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Oh, super kick! With the counter! Short clothesline hits its mark. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Look at this, going counter for counter. Real barrel, her Conrada, nice. Ah, she's trying, trying to create space. She turns it around on Carter. Counter from Carter. Scoops their opponent up. Uh oh. Look out. It's an open driver. Piper got all of it. Cover. Two. And a kick out. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. Maybe not. Maybe not. Cover. She gets the shoulder up. This is going to come down to who wants it more. <laughs> Once again, our women's division is putting the whole industry on notice with a match like this. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. In full control here. And there are bodies everywhere. You got the tag team match in the ring. The managers are running around outside barking at each other. And now they're getting to physicality. Well, here comes the official looking to restore some order. Uh, 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 you're out of here. That manager will no longer be at ringside and the other manager too. And the match is going to continue. How heavily do these teams rely on their managers? Well, I guess it's about shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. And referee cuts off the count in one. Her iron will on display for the world to see. There's a tag. Tag is made. Tandem offense on its way from the very top rope. No, even higher from their partner's shoulders. Crashing down hard with a senton. Green is completely out of it. Shoulders down. Coming to the rescue. She's pushed into the corner. Oh, solid form. She's starting to drag a little bit. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. She's tagged in. Ouch. Caught her. Oof. Huge splash in the corner. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. Amazing display of athleticism. And a series of vicious stomps. Gets the tag. Victory roll pinning combination. Super kick to the face. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. 
She's trying to fight back, but it doesn't look good. Yeah, she is in a rough spot now. Kick. Oh, look at head scissors. Oh, and a head scissor DDT. That could be it. Oof. Oh, and she turns it around. Set up in the corner of the ring. Knew what was coming there. She tags in. Ooh. Oh, what a forearm! Pow! Right in the kisser. Didn't see it coming. Here's a tag. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Don't do it! Suicide dive! Risking it all and able to connect like a holy missile. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. A penny predicament, but it really doesn't matter. And Katana is clearly looking for a fight here. She catches Katana with a counter. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. <laughs> nice counter from Chance. Textbook leg sweep. Nicely done. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. If this lands, it's over. Phoenix splash on the money. Looking for the victory! Um. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. To the skies! 450 splash! Katana may have put the exclamation on this one. Two! No, nah, she kicked out. Just when you think it's the end, she stays alive. What amazing resilience. Is this the start of a comeback? Big maneuver, executed perfectly, but still was not enough. the close count. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. And this has quickly become a match to be remembered. Taking hold of Carter here. Slam down. That can do Carter in. Right and teammate makes the save. And just in time. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been an absolute war out there. These superstars' efforts are not lost on this crowd. Tagged in. A oh, double knee face breaker. Great presence of mind by Chelsea Green. Gonna counter power slam. Hoping to end it here. This is it. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Tagging her partner in. Oh, ouch. Oh, jeez. Falling hard to the outside. Oh. 
Picture perfect. Oh, knee to the jaw. Snap mail right. Surfboard. Trying to maneuver Great escape. Out. She needed that badly. She sent flying into the corner. Brutal forearm. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, power bomb. That might be it. Katana perched up top. To the skies. Chance conceal it here. Two. And that'll be it. Finally a victory. What a hard fought win. Here are your winners. The team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. Man, Green and Niven are going to be complaining about this for weeks. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Damian Priest. Representing the Judgment Day from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor! A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far.
it's Viking time! And his opponent, accompanied by Eric, representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 305 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar! Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. The Prince Finn Balor with a determined purpose as part of the Judgment Day. Well, Finn has always done best as the leader of a group back to his days in Japan. He has that kind of in-ring arsenal you can only assemble from traveling the world. And now, with the Judgment Day under his wing, he really has his best platform in years to preach his wisdom. No doubt looking to send a message in this one. But today, he has the daunting task of facing off with a real Viking. Ivar is across the ring, ready to destroy you and carve your bones into a trophy. Ivar operates on a different level. An incredible athlete and vicious hunter who devastates his opponents with brute force and then picks them apart. We've heard Finn Balor mention a lack of fear. That has to be a mental hurdle for his opponent to overcome here, Corey. As much as a lack of fear sounds like an impressive trait to possess, it can also backfire. Shedding that fear only heightens the risks that an athlete like Balor is willing to take. If you can buy yourself some time and wait for Balor to risk it, you should be able to get the biscuit. Oh, what a drop kick in the corner. Into the corner now. Come on now. What is this man? Here's the cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. And Ivar with the wherewithal to counter. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. Bam! Down he goes. And fans' ruthlessness being called into question after that attack. Yeah, Ivar taking the fight right to him. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Ivar set up. Straight to go on like this. What a will on a lookout. It's on now. He's one step ahead there. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Oh, man. The willpower. The sheer guts of these two. They are emptying their tanks. Going back and forth like this. That's how you stop your opponent. Just breaking down the opponent. And Finn having even more pressure put on him there. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Incoming! Using all their body weight. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. That's what I was talking about earlier, Cole. He is taking advantage of the risk-taking Balor and earning results. This is just too far. Get some control in there. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. He kicks out at two. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Ah, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Expected that one. What a match. Uh oh. Counters that. Ooh. I've got to 
to say the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And he denies Ivar. Finn just adding salt to the wound right now. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Will it be? He wins. He wins. Here is your winner. determination here was simply at an all-time high. Yeah, Balor came into this match ready to do just about anything to get the W, and he did just that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sammy Zayn! Corey, listen to this reaction for Sammy Zayn. I still don't understand why the WWE Universe insists on singing Sami Zayn's entrance theme. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker, ready to dominate. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun! We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. shifting gears now. i like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Oh, who writes your stuff?
And we kick things off with Braun Breaker, son and nephew of a pair of Hall of Famers, but fast becoming a powerhouse in his own right. If you could bottle potential up and put it in a human being, you'd get someone like Braun Breaker. He's got his dad's natural ability, his uncle's genetic freakishness. It's easy to see why Breaker's asserted himself so quickly. The kid's undeniable. Perhaps some of that potential will be realized tonight. And he is going to have his hands full facing off against a man with an unprecedented amount of momentum right now, Sami Zayn. The persistence of Sami Zayn is unwavering, even when the odds are against him. And for so much of his career, the odds have been against Sami Zayn. But he's at an all-time high, so his opponent is in for quite the challenge. Frankensteiner! Nicely done! And into the count. Two! Power still after two. He really thought that was it. Belly to belly suplex. Corey, in your eyes, what is Sami Zayn's biggest advantage in this matchup? No, oh, that's an easy one, Cole. Sami Zayn's a strategic mastermind. That'll give him a clear path to victory. All he has to do is properly execute. And that negates Zayn's offense. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh, a timely counter by Zayn. Athleticism. Going up. Uh oh. Fighting out. Hammering away with punches to the face. Boom, what impact. Big forearm. He's looking a little off balance. Zane getting the better of his opponent on that one. What a punch. These two trading one blow after another. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Boom. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Boom. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping each other no matter what. Taking this match off the mat now. Up high. Cross body. No way. The dive. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Oh, right to the kidneys. Counter. And now there's an opening. What a boot. And now thrown back into the ring. Three. Breaker defiantly getting his shoulder up in time. And Zayn is losing his mind right now. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Counters with a brutal answer. Pulls the shoulder. Just one step ahead. What a clothesline! Ron Breaker submission all the old Steiner recliner paying homage to his own. You can feel him desperately trying to find a way, and he does. Strong right forearm. Oh my goodness. Station. He must have seen that coming. Spear! Spear! That's the devastating power we've come to expect from Ron Breaker. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. C 
seated on their opponent, trapping their arms to the back of the neck. You have to respect these men for taking it to the next level. This one's becoming too close to call. Yeah, it's hard to predict how this one will end. Get back here, leg Larry. And Zayn pushes through with an offensive burst. Much like his battle against the corporate machine, Sammy is simply refusing to lose. Sami Zayn. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn. So it's Braun Breaker on the losing side here. This is just going to drive Breaker crazy. This is not a guy who can just accept losing a match. WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. The world. Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated. The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. 
He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Cody Rhodes has said that beating Roman Reigns is crucial to his story, pivotal to accomplishing his dream. Well, Cody could not have picked a bigger target, and Roman does not take kindly to being targeted. He sees Cody as just another annoyance to be swatted away. Roman Reigns is at the absolute top of his game, so why shouldn't he think that? Cody decided to pick a fight with the biggest dog in the yard. Now they're here to settle this once and for all. Insulting. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Close line. He's got him scouted. Big knee to the midsection. So much damage inflicted. Off the rope. Reigns able to sidestep. And I think something both Cody and Roman have to be careful of here is overconfidence. Cody is so eager to take Roman down, he could get ahead of himself and make mistakes. Roman, meanwhile, thinks his victory is assured and might not take Cody seriously enough. Fair point, Corey. It's going to take a lot of focus and discipline for either of these men to get the upper hand. And another counter. Rhodes caught. And there's the Yurinagi. Land of them. Close line. Off with their head. Ooh. And where does he think he's going? Look, he's just taking the perfect opportunity to regain some composure. Now oh, Cody manages to counter. Springboard off. Vicious right forearm. Ooh, bad landing. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. And some effective offense with that one. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Cody looking to attack from above. Soaring. Oh! The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Guys, we, he can end it here. Just kicks out. This could be a tipping point in this match. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Reigns just sent a message with that kind of attack. Got to find a way to get out of this. Right across the larynx. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Oh! Stomp right to the hand. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Oh! Kick right to the back. And that canceled out Reigns' offense. Section. Cody looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. There's two. Oh, he kicked out. Amazing. What resilience being shown from Reigns here tonight. You got to wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. Oh, knee drop. Woo. Way to moved out of the way. Nobody home. Sidewalks. This is it. The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. Oh, my God, did you see that? That sucked all the air out of this place. It looked like a done deal. Oh, man, right? 
to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Able to get the advantage here. Avoiding contact. Oh, uncorked a big punch. And like a pie and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Absolutely incredible. And after all that, Roman Reigns still has an end to this battle. Going up top. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Delivering nasty stops. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh, right in there. And he tosses him back in now. Roman Reigns giving the people in attendance the chance to acknowledge him. Oh, man. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. And Cody's resolve might be wavering here. Reigns isn't giving Cody any breathing room. He moves just in time. An exceptional showing so far from both Reigns and Rhodes. This is what an instant classic looks like. Quick back elbow detours that offense. Oh, off the rope. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no way, no way. A pedigree. Precise destruction from Cody right there. Here's the cover for the win. And still in this. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. And Reigns reverses. Listen to this twice. there and uh, his opponent's pretty hurt I think he's certainly hurt but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment now come more on what does he get out of this what's the point a little reminder what an ego maniac The following champion versus champion contest 
is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Alert the authorities, Dom Dom and Mommy have arrived. Oh jeez, not this again. Cole, pay your respect to the modern day Bonnie and Clyde. So, some have called Rhea Ripley the leader of the Judgment Day. So, I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet. And they're already so smug. You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like Mommy. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Gentlemen, damage control has arrived. You are looking at the past, present, and future of the women's division. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Taking one final look at the title. WWE Universe anxiously awaiting the sound of the bell. Should be a hell of a match.
Every woman wants it. Few get the distinction of holding it. This match is for the WWE Women's Championship. The prestige of this title can't be overstated. Every member of our women's division covets this title and wants their turn as champion. But there can only be one, and that's about to be decided right here. They're just raining down punches. Just going all out with every blow. Oh, and she got out of there. She returns the favor there. Oh, God. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh. Into a double knee drop. And no remorse is shown towards Ripley as she absorbed that attack. Sky saw a vulnerable target and didn't hesitate to land an explosive blow. What's his plan here? Ooh. You know, Rhea Ripley is all about methodically destroying her opponents in the ring. So if I was taking her on, I'd try to control the tempo and make her compete at my speed, not allowing her to find a good offensive rhythm. Not a bad idea. That might just be enough to throw Ripley off her game. Io moved at the right time. The running Meteora. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Whip back into the ring. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Unbelievable athleticism. Punishing the shoulder. It's the drop kick. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Into a double knee drop. The challenger is not in a great place. How about the sharpness of Io's in-ring maneuvers? Almost flawless. Oh, the right suplex. Is it enough? The cover! Kicking out in time. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Bad predicament right here. Remarkable power being shown here. Goodness gracious. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. Vicious knee. Heads out of the... Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not gonna be easy to get out of this. She did her homework there. A back suplex. This is just brute power. Release German. She'll be able to do it again. A well-timed dodge. <laughs> Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. He is looking to do some serious harm. <laughs> Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, just turn that around. Champ looking to end this. Whoa! Retains the title. Here is your winner. Here is still the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky.